Hello friends, this video on Metrosales part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 27. This is one example where I told that uh, of one property where we have told a b dash equal to b dash a dash. We have to verify the same property using this example where a is equal to this and b is equal to this two matrix. So let's do this. So to do this, the first thing we have to do is you define a b, then take transpose, and then you try and find b dash, a dash, and then multiply. So let's first find a b. So a b is nothing but you multiply 1 minus 4, 3 with minus 1 to 1. So before multiplying, let's check whether multiplication is possible or not. 1, 2, 3 horizontal row, 1 vertical, this is 3 cross 1. 1 horizontal, 3 vertical, 1 cross 3. 1 and 1 matches, that means yes, you can multiply. And the final output will be 3 cross 3 matrix. So let's do the multiplication now. So this guy will become 1 into first row, first column. 1 into minus 1, minus 1. This guy will become first row, second column. 1 into 2, 2. Third guy, first row, second column, 1 into 1, 1. Simply this guy will become second row, first guy, column. That is minus 4 into minus 1, that is 4. This guy will become minus 4 into 2, 8. This guy will become minus 4 into 1, minus. Similarly, this guy, 3 into minus 1, minus 3. This guy, 3 into 2, 6. And this guy, 3 into 1, 3. So I've got AB. Now we have to find AB transpose. So to find AB transpose, what we can do is, we have AB. We can convert this rows to columns. So this guy we have got. Let me write in this fashion. Simply 4, 8, minus 4. I'll write in this fashion. Minus 3, 6, 3. I'll write in this fashion. So this is my LHS. For RHS, we have to take a transpose of B, transpose of A and multiply it. So let me get the transpose of B first. So this is B, transpose of B, all the rows into columns. So I'll get minus 1 to 1. Correct? This I wrote in this fashion. Similarly, A dash will be nothing but you convert this column to row. So this is my A dash. So RHS is nothing but B dash into A dash that is minus 1 to 1 into 1 minus 4 3. Same thing here also. We will take row of this and column of this. The first element that becomes minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1. So if you want to check the feasibility whether the multiplication is possible or not you can do that 1 2 3 horizontal into 1 vertical, 3 cross 1, 1 horizontal, 3 vertical. This 1 and 1 matches, yes. You can multiply it and the result will be 3 cross 3. So, define that. The second element will be, you take this first row, second column, minus 1 into minus 4, that is 4. Third is minus 1 into this guy, that is minus 3. Now, we will take the second row, First column, 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into minus 4 is minus 8, 2 into 3 is 6. Similarly, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into minus 4 is minus 4, 1 into 3 is 3. So I have got this. If you compare these two, they are equal. Hold a second, this is minus 8, it has to be minus 8. Let's see what wrong we did here. Minus 4 into 2 is minus 8 dash. Minus 4 into 1 is 4, minus 4 into 2 is minus 8. This is minus 8. So this, if you see both are same actually. All the elements are same, the order is same, both are 3 cross 3. Thus we can say that A B transpose is nothing but B transpose into A transpose. Very simple. We just found A B transpose, we found B transpose, A transpose and we equated LHS is equal to RHS. Let's take one more example. We have to uh, verify that A dash into A is equal to I for this particular 
scenario where A is a matrix cos alpha sin alpha minus sin alpha cos alpha. So before doing that, the first thing we need is A transpose. Let's find A transpose. Convert row to column. So this is this I'll take it row, I'll make it to column, cos alpha, sin alpha. Second row, I'll make it to column, minus sin alpha and cos alpha. So I've got a dash, I've got a. Let me multiply them and see what is the result. A dash into a, if you see, is nothing but cos alpha minus sin alpha. I'm writing a dash first into sin alpha cos alpha. This I'm going to multiply with a, this guy. So let me write a cos alpha sin alpha minus sin alpha and cos alpha. So I've got a dash, this guy, a, this guy. And let me multiply this. So we'll take horizontal of this and vertical of second guy. So if you see, this is 2 cross 2 and this guy is also 2 cross 2. So we can check and we can find that, yeah, multiplication is possible because the head of this and tail of this matches and the final will be 2 cross 2. So let's take the first item, that guy will be, you take this row and this column, multiply and add. So this becomes, so cos alpha into cos alpha is cos square alpha, minus sin alpha into minus sin alpha is plus sin square alpha. So this guy is cos square alpha plus sin square alpha. Second element, for this you take first row and second column, the one in the square here, and this one. So cos alpha into sin alpha is cos alpha sin alpha plus minus sin alpha cos alpha is minus sin alpha cos alpha. Correct. Similarly, this element is nothing but you take this guy and multiply with the first column sin alpha cos alpha. So sin alpha cos alpha plus cos alpha into minus sin alpha minus cos alpha sin alpha. Then you have you take the second guy and second guy this the sin alpha into sin alpha is sin square alpha plus cos alpha into cos alpha is cos square alpha. So if you see this sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is one we know from trigonometry plus cos alpha sin alpha minus sin alpha cos alpha is gone so this becomes zero. Similarly here also sin alpha cos alpha minus cos alpha sin alpha this also is zero. And sine square alpha plus cos square alpha is so this is nothing but my identity matrix. And thus I prove LHS is equal to RHS because I started with A transpose into A and I got that is nothing but identity. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.